Hello, welcome to another video. My name is Nalanda. If you're new here, I recently moved and I've been working on getting my space set up into a place where I feel comfortable and really love it. I don't really know where we are exactly in the series because I haven't figured out what videos I'm editing first or which projects I'll finish first, but right now we're working on the bathroom. If you have seen my empty apartment tour, you will know that it was kind of gross and honestly, still kind of is, but we're doing what we can. Um, I chose not to paint the walls because I'm lazy. I've been using the bathroom kind of like a storage space because I just have a lot of stuff. So I do have this closet here, but this little section will be perfect for the um, storage system. My ceilings in this apartment are so much shorter than the ones I had at my old apartment at the loft. So I'm not gonna lie. Um, the rails I have are pretty long for this height, but I'm gonna see what I can do. Ouch. Okay. All right, there's a lot of me dropping things. Okay, so here is where we're at. Pretty sure that the base of the little rods will have to be pretty much right up against the trim and it'll have to be right at the edge of the plug. So it'll be kind of like this, like that. I think I'm just gonna put it up and kind of see what happens. Um, not a little bit of planning, but not like too much, you know? So let's just do it. As you can see, there is a little frame up here. Now I have to figure out how to configure the shelves and drawers and stuff. And I'll be honest, I don't think I like my options. Again, the ceilings are so much lower, so it kind of doesn't make sense to put a shelf all the way at the top because then it's like, what's gonna go up there? There's no room, you know? like a clothing bar obviously with space intended for things to hang down and now I like don't have that need so I'm not sure how many shelves I should put on there you know maybe I can just go back to Ikea and grab a couple more shelves or like a drawer or something this looks really bare and the space and looks terrible so I think yeah I think I'm definitely gonna move that bottom shelf up I think the goal will literally just to have things at like accessible height you know so yeah, I think I'm gonna just change the spacing a little bit with the three things I do have here. And then maybe next Ikea trip, I'll go grab some more shelves. Or if my roommate's not using hers, maybe I'll use hers. I don't know. So the shelves are up and granted, they're not like done obviously, but I can see the vision. Like it's serving the purpose I need to serve. I do think I need to rearrange a little bit, but also y'all are on the shelves. Isn't that nice? It's like a perfect spot to put you. I have another shelf here another shelf and then the drawer as the end and even though it looks a little weird because you can see like the um you can see a lot of the bracket there but it's not too bad um i think that i could potentially put another shelf there or another drawer there or just work on the spacing with these and so the things fit perfectly here like i have just a box of like towels and stuff granted i think that will probably go into this closet for be like linens you know but i think that i'll be able to put my like skincare and makeup and stuff here. I'm thinking of putting my mirror in the center whenever I find it. Not to say I had a vanity at my old apartment, but I had put all my stuff on um, my bureau, which I don't have here. So I think it'll do well to serve a purpose. And also I still haven't put everything that I need to put in the mirror here. It's missing shelves. And so I need to figure out how to rig it to make some shelves out of like some plywood or like balsa wood even. I don't know, it doesn't need to be super sturdy, but just needs to offer some like separation and kind of to utilize the vertical space. But yeah, um, I'm kind of feeling this. Like again, the organization part of it will come a little later, but 
it's you know it's I'm, I'm very happy with it and it fits like perfectly in the space so I'm happy and look how much like space is in the bathroom now I don't know what I will need all this space for but if I'm doing my makeup and hair and stuff in here I'm glad that I have space and I have like a designated spot for it girl all I need at this point is like a seat that's not the toilet the toilet's over here and it's way too low and too far but if I had like my own stool here oh my god to just like do my makeup that'd be kind of cool too Ooh, I could put my laundry. Oh yeah. When I get rid of the towels and stuff in here and take them out of this box to put them in the closet, I can put my laundry right there and it'll be perfect. And I love that the electrical outlet is still uh, unobstructed. So there's just a little night like there that was already there, but obviously it'd be good for if I want to curl my hair and stuff. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I'm like really excited. Honestly, it just, it fits. I feel like fits. I love it. Um, the next order of business will probably be that I want to clean the grout in this floor just because it can use a clean and I'm sure that when it's cleaner, it'll just make this place look a lot better. So I've been watching this and I'm not even in focus. It is an absolute scorcher out today. Like it's in the 90s today and I was really hoping that the hot weather would be over by now, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, Mother Nature wanted us to have one more hot week of summer, hopefully the very last. But anyway, we're back in my bathroom. And again, you're sitting on the shelf and this is like, oh, love this perfect height. But let me tell you, we did have an extra shelf. So now I have three on here and I moved in all of my like stuff. Again, none of it's organized, but like everything fits. Love that. I may have already said that, but I'm not sure. But anyway, so I'm feeling that. Today, I'm trying to clean this grout. That is the plan. So I'm going to take everything off the floor and get to it. I have my cleaning gloves. And the floor has been clean. And now I'm gonna make a mixture. You know, we'll scroll on TikTok and stuff. This is what we found. And Tina's already done it and she said it works. So that's what we're gonna do. What is Bagel doing? Okay, we're gonna take baking soda, which granted, Tina says she used the whole box for her bathroom. Which honestly, that makes sense though, because it's floor's pretty big. So I'm gonna take some baking soda and just mix it with hydrogen peroxide until it becomes a paste. I'm guesstimating how much to use in things. Like, you know, don't, I, this is not a recipe. This is what I think will work. So I just poured a little bit in and I'm just gonna mix it with my hands until it makes a paste. But yeah, but you pour the paste into a little squeezy bottle and you just squeeze across the grout. But yeah, and then you leave it there for about 30 minutes or something, maybe 15, 30 minutes, I don't know. And then you wipe it off and use a little scrub brush to scrub it down and then it's supposed to be clear or, you know, much cleaner. Tina said that for her, in her experience, when she wiped it off, it looked the literal same and she thought it didn't work, but then the next day, it was definitely different and definitely cleaner. So I'm gonna take her word for it and hope that this is also the case for me. Okay, so the bottle is basically full and now we just have to trace the lines on the floor. It does something like this. Granted, I think mine's not quite as pasty anymore. My roommate did also say that the baking soda might clog up the opening, which I already see happening. Okay, so the mixture is all over the floor now and we'll just let it sit. The solution has been sitting on the grout for like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, some places more, some places less, whatever. Not picture that just happened is that I spilled a whole bowl of water on me, on my shelf, on my stuff, on the floor, but we're gonna ignore that and just get to work. So next I'm supposed to take a cloth with hot water, wipe away the solution and just scrub it with a grout scrubbing brush. So that's what I got. Very much like my roommate said, this shit looks the fucking same. My roommate said that by the next day, she definitely noticed a difference. So I'm going to trust the process and see if this actually works or if it's all bullshit. We are back in my bathroom. Um, honestly, it's been 
a little while since I checked in. Uh, I think last time I talked to you, I was working on cleaning the grout on the floor and I'll be honest, it kind of worked, but it kind of didn't, but also that might just be a lot of human error. So at the end of the day, I don't care that much. It's fine the way it is, whatever, but I'll show you. But yeah, some areas look cleaner, some don't. Some just have baking soda stuck in them. I'm not really sure. But I'm close to like finishing the things I want to do in the bathroom. And I only have a couple things left, which is what I would like to finish between today and tomorrow. So here's what we have to do. We have to hang the mirror that you're currently sitting on. We have to hang the mirror, um, organize those white shelves, and maybe put up a couple of hooks, and then work on my little uh, mirror cabinet thingy. I've already talked about the mirror situation before, how there is no, it's literally lacking a shelf. So I would like to at least get one piece of like scrap wood, plywood, MDF board or something to put in there. You gotta hang this mirror, and by hanging this mirror, I will cover that hole. I did a little bit of organization, nothing crazy, but a little bit. And then I still have to organize all of these shelves. Yeah. And then I bought some hooks to put on this wall here, then also maybe on this wall or this wall, just because I have my like face towel and my like headband for my face over there. And I feel like that's not really a good spot when I wash my face over here, you know? Let's get to organizing the shelves over here first. like odds and ends it's kind of annoying honestly trying to organize everything so right now up here in this bin i have like clay masks and i don't know just like extra stuff sample size skincare then in this one is all like travel stuff like travel size or like if i'm going on a trip i probably take this down and pack a couple of the bags in here and then i'm trying to figure out if my mirror is there what up what do i want here like makeup stuff or in hair stuff and like what about here? Because there's a plug right there, it would be really great to be able to plug in like, you know, a curling iron or my hair dryer or something and then do my hair here. Like, you know, make sure my bangs are looking floofy. I think another thing I'm running into is that in my last apartment, I kept some stuff in my room and I kept some stuff in the bathroom because obviously I shared a bathroom in my last place. However, now that I have my own bathroom, it's like, do I need to have doubles of things. For example, I have two brushes. I kept one in my room and one in the bathroom. I, I think I just have an excess of stuff. Honestly, like moral of this entire series, I think I have too much stuff. Yeah, that's my current like dilemma, you know, because I obviously want things to be put away neatly, but also I want the things that I will use more often at arm's length. But I think that being able to have more stuff visible and, and utilize the space is better because then hopefully I'll use those things, you know? I kind of have a lot of nail things, so I'm going to try to fit everything in this container. Kind of just accumulated a lot of nail stuff, like this entire set of gel nail polish, which takes up a literal third of this container. Little plastic fake nails from when I was doing my nails at home during the lockdown. I have these press-ons. They're so pretty, but I've never worn them. I have like stickers here. These ones and these ones. I will say I did accumulate a lot of this stuff when I was in Korea because obviously they just had a lot of stuff, you know, that I wanted. Oh yeah, but look at these fun nail stickers too. I really gotta start using them, man. <laughs> and obviously I went to Daiso a lot and like all these little nail sticks, less than a dollar for all of them. So many little bits and bobs, like little gold foil, pearls, etc. You would think I like have a nail salon or can do nails, but I'm just not, I'm not very good at it, but I'm trying like this is what I did yesterday. And it's literally just like powder. I have nail glue. Let me tell you, the one from Daiso is my absolute favorite. Which unfortunately I don't have a Daiso near me, but when I was in Korea, I stocked up a lot. And I feel like next time I'm in New York where there's a Daiso, I'll probably grab more. Granted at the time I was wearing a lot more press-ons, but whatever.
Okay, we are so close to being done. I'm gonna hang up the mirror right now. I will say I am hanging it up at my own risk. It is a leaner mirror. But in my defense, I had it hanging at my old apartment on the brick wall and it was fine. So this will be fine, right? Are these the same distance, this one and the one back there? I tried to film myself putting this on, but I guess I forgot to press record. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It wasn't too difficult to hang. That's the screw and there's a little hanger on it. So it's like this on both sides. Like I can do a full body in here. Lovely toilet. But yeah, I kind of like it. And I was worried about the closet here, but I don't think it should be too bothersome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, girl, I can open it all the way. Nice. There we have it. That's the little upgrade that I made to my bathroom. I mean, it's obviously not perfect. Honestly, I think there is some structural and like design issues for me personally, but I mean, for what it is, I'm pretty satisfied. It be what it be and it's gonna work for me, you know? But yeah, so thank you for joining me as I kind of revamped my bathroom a little bit, organized it all to a place where I feel like it makes sense. You know, I think it's gonna be super functional, which is honestly, at the end of the day, that's what matters to me. It has to be functional and I think it will be. I love that my mirror is right here. I can do a full on OOTD, you know, check myself out a little better. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and joining me as I kind of revamped my bathroom. If you like videos like this, please be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Quick little update. Look what I found. The shelf that goes with this little like mirror cabinet thingy. It was hidden in my closet. And I just found it. The shelf itself isn't that cute. It's a little warped and kind of crusty, mainly because the last tenant's landlord, whoever else, tried to like paint it and it's a little like peely and stuff. But I mean, functional. And that's what we're going for here. So now I can put more stuff here. Yay. Okay, bye now.